use of plastics has become ingrained in our everyday lives. And according to the United Nations Environment Program, of the 7 billion tons of plastic waste generated globally, so far less than 10% has been recycled. 12 News' Barbara Ron brings us the story tonight of a new technology that WV researchers that may change the way we think about plastic. For the last five years, Wu Xing Wong, a chemical engineer at West Virginia University, has worked on microwave technology to break down plastics to its original chemical components so it can then be created into something new. The type of plastic being processed are common day items like the single-use cup and the single-use bag. Although Wong and his team are hoping to break down a variety of different plastics, their main focus has been polypropylene, found in things like single-use cups to sports equipment, medical devices, and much more. Before it goes through a microwave process, the plastics are blended into small pieces. And for plastic films like bags, they are melted together. It almost looks like paint and then blended. Then the microwave technology works to heat to a temperature of between 300 and 400 degrees Celsius, almost half of the energy used to create new plastic, reducing greenhouse emissions. The heat is then transferred to the polypropylene waste, breaking it down, converting it into light olefins like propylene, the basic building blocks of polypropylene. Light olefin like propylene and ethylene it's made from the fossil fuel. But the fossil fuel is an unrenewable resource. So we try to renewable this plastic. Researchers say the goal of this upcycling energy is to limit the use of fossil fuels to create new propylene and to just upcycle. After the new product is created, it can be broken down again and again, continuing the cycle. If we could reuse it, just like they do in the steel industry, 90% of the steel that's currently used to make cars or you know, wires or ropes or other things is essentially recycled. We want to get to that. The research team's work has already garnered a $1 million grant from the U.S. Department of Energy, and the team is currently working on building a bigger reactor with the hopes of their technology being used worldwide in the future. In Morgantown, Barbara Ron, 12 News.